Dump it, Joe. This is Jareth from Reap What You Sow, and today I am going to take you along and let you see how I feed and take care of my worms. If you don't have a worm bed, that is a must because you can raise black gold with a worm bed. So let's get some of this poop and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. I want you to look attacking my Kubota. <laughs> they are looking for feed and I've already fed those girls. They are spoiled rotten. Oh, I see a bag of deer corn back there. This time I'm going to <laughs> prop the door open. If you can notice that I have uh, this paper and stuff on top, I get shredded paper from a friend of ours and uh, the worms love it. But what makes uh, worm casting so great? It, it's the worms. As it digests is the organic material uh, that it consumes, that you feed it and put in here, it refines the, them to nutrients, including minerals and trace elements. Use it to a more usable form. Uh, worm castings has a natural pH of 7.0. Also, worm castings have a 4-5% more nitrogen than your regular uh, garden soil. But, uh... It won't burn the plants or anything like that because, uh, because of the mucus that the worms secrete when they digest it. And what it does, it makes the uh, castings into like a slow release nitrogen. You know how when you fertilize your fruit trees, you put the fertilizer in the ground and as the ground begins to warm up, it begins to uh, melt and uh, feed the trees? That's kind of like what worm castings do. The nitrogen in there is like a slow release uh, to your plants. Worm castings is excellent. You cannot go wrong by starting a worm bed. And all it takes is just a few worms. And before you know it, you have a lot of them. So let's go ahead and get this fed. I normally feed on this end here. I try to rotate out which end I'm fed, feeding on. I fed over here the last time, so what I'm going to do is uh, feed on this end. And also, guys, I wanted to tell you, uh, if you would like to make worm tea for your um, garden to use as a fertilizer, what do you do is you take two cups of worm casting. You can either put it in a net or you could just put the two cups in a five-gallon bucket full of water and mix that up real good, and then that's what you would water your plants with. 
So let's pull this back. Let me bring you closer so you can see over here. Oh, uh, you probably see here some worms right here. It's probably not as much worms up on this end because I fed on the other end the last time. And so you want to make sure you keep this good and damp too. Look at that. That's black gold, people. By dumping my coffee grounds and stuff in there. That is an egg. It a shell. It'll break down slowly. I put some in there. You know, for a little bit of calcium, I have some that I've blended to a powder that I normally mix in here. But all this is is a little bit of coffee grounds, uh, banana peels, uh, vegetables. I do not put any raw meat in my uh, compost. I got some uh, cornmeal that I had left over, and so I just put it in here. Okay, so now we're going to dump the poop. And I'm going to put the sawdust in. I'm not going to put the whole shovel load. I'm, that's going to be enough. And then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this back over. I'm trying to use the dirt to touch the poop. <laughs> I'm just checking my bed and looking at my worms is what I'm doing. Pretty, ain't it? So now that I've got these fed, I'm just going to uh, take some water and I'm going to damp this. In my bed, all this is is an old trough. He built a frame, set this old trough in, a feed trough. And he drilled a hole in the bottom. So I have a five-gallon bucket that sits up underneath this bed. That way, when I wet it down, if it gets too much water in it, it will drain out and drip into that five-gallon bucket. I also have an aerator that sits in that five-gallon bucket. And when that worm tea uh, goes in there, I aerate that worm tea and put oxygen into it. And it's good. So that's how I do my worms. down here a little more because I added that sawdust. So that's it guys. This is how I take care of my worms. If you've got a worm bed, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you feed your worms. I use my worm castings for my gardening, flowers, anything I plant, I use worm castings. You will see me harvesting castings coming soon when it's time to plant my transplants out into the garden. So I appreciate you coming along with me and following us, and we thank each and every one of y'all, and God bless.